I'd like to introduce you to the concept of periodic motion. Periodic motion is ba basically any motion that repeats. So it could be an oscillation that repeats. So think, for example, of a pendulum that's swinging back and forth. That's going back and forth, back and forth, traveling the same path every time. It's repeating. It, uh, it's re repetitive motion, so it's periodic motion. You might think of the hands on a clock. They are also moving around and around and around. They're traveling the same course over and over again, repeating, so that is periodic motion. And we could think of lots of other examples. For example, um, an oscillating spring. It's going back and forth, back and forth. A heartbeat. That's repeating its motion. Lawnmower blades that are going around and around. These are all some basic examples of periodic motion. And I'd like to look at two terms that have to do with periodic motion. <coughs> first one is the period. Period is basically we can call it time per cycle. Now what those units of time are could vary. Of course in physics we like our time to be in seconds but it could be in other things as well. Second term is frequency. And frequency is exactly the inverse. It is actually cycles per time. So cycles in a given unit of time. So again, time could be seconds, it could be minutes. How many cycles happen in a second or in a minute? So again, let's just look at what the units could be. Period could be in seconds, could be in minutes, it could be in any other units of time. And you might think of it as minutes per cycle or seconds per cycle. But we don't usually write the per cycle as part of our units. And again, opposite to that or the inverse of that is frequency so cycles per second so sometimes that's written as CPS cycles per second actually the units are just one over seconds and that's also the same thing as Hertz what we call a Hertz HZ is Hertz you might also have frequency in rounds per minute okay again it's a cycle around per time so rounds per minute is used for example for engine speeds how many cycles that the engine does in a minute so let's think about how we would calculate either of these two quantities the easiest way to calculate them is to think literally of this definition I gave you time per cycle or cycle per time and you find the number if you're given a certain number of cycles in a certain time you just divide the one by the other to get frequency or period as you wish we can also relate between the two. Um, I haven't given you the abbreviations, the notation that we use, but period is donated by a T, and frequency, you might guess, is denoted by an F. So these two are inversely related, I said. So the period is equal to 1 divided by the frequency, or frequency, if you would do some opposite operations on this you would see soon enough is equal to 1 divided by the period. Again let's take a close look at how the units would work. I'm just going to write units instead of the actual quantities over on the side. So period is measured in units of seconds and we said that's equal to 1 over the units for frequency. Frequency I said could be 1 over seconds so you can denote frequency as per second or one over seconds. Um, you can also write one over seconds as hertz, I said already, or you can also write it as seconds to the minus one. And you should know from math that something raised to the power of minus one is the same as dividing by that something. So especially in future math and physics courses you might see that sometimes. But if we have now one divided by one over seconds, we know from math that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is the same as 1 times seconds over 1, which gets us back to our original units of seconds as it should have been. So I'm just verifying that our units will work out according to these formulas. Let's try it for frequency. Frequency is measured in hertz, which is again 1 over seconds. That's equal to 1 divided by period which is measured in seconds. And hey, they're equal already. So let's try some examples for a minute. Our first example is that a violinist is tuning the A string, which vibrates at 440 hertz. What is the period of vibration? So we are given that 
we know the string vibrates at 440 hertz. And you'll need to recognize again from the units that this is a frequency we're talking about, and we are asked for the period. Well, we simply find the period by doing 1 divided by the frequency, which is 1 divided by 440 hertz. Or hertz is also written as per second. So I proved before already that our units for this are going to be seconds. So 1 divided by 440 is equal to 0 0.00227. This is, of course, in seconds. Remember, of course, that leading zeros are not significant, so this gives me three significant digits. Let's try another equally simple example. If your heart beats once in 0 0.86 seconds, in other words, the period of your heart beating is 0 0.86 seconds, again, we can know from the units that this is talking about a period. What is the frequency in beats per minute? So make sure we give our answer in beats per minute here. <coughs> So again, frequency is just equal to the inverse of the period. So that is going to be 1 divided by 0 0.86 seconds. So this is equal to 1.16. And our units are per second. So I'm just going to say uh, per second here. 1.16 per second. That means there's 1.16 heartbeats per second. I should be converting it to 2 sig dig. So 1.2 per second. Now we should really wait till the very end before we do any rounding. Let's convert this first into the required units of beats per minute. Now, don't get confused by the fact that we're ha we have seconds in our answer and we're asked for beats per minute. We could have called this beats per second, but often that part is left out. The only real important part of our units is the seconds or the minutes. So we have to just convert our seconds to minutes. We know that there's 60 seconds in one minute, and this will allow us to cancel out our units of seconds and give us a final answer of 1.16 times 60. So that's 69.7. We now need to express our answer in two sig digs, so we're going to write 70 beats per minute. So the frequency is 70 beats per minute. Of course, we should have answered our other one in a complete sentence as well. So there we go. Let's try one more example, this time not one that requires us to convert between frequency and period, but which requires us to calculate one of them. A child sits on a merry-go-round which rotates four times in 18 seconds. We are asked for the period of rotation. So again, the easiest way to do this is just to think about our literal definition of period. Period was seconds per cycle. So we know that it does this in 18 seconds, and it does four cycles. So 18 seconds per four cycles will give us 18 divided by 4, or 4.5 seconds per cycle. And again, that per cycle is not really an important part of the units. We can say the period of rotation is 4.5 seconds. Now, you might wonder why I have two sig digs. Depending on whether you count four times as a counting number or as a measurement, you could write this answer as five seconds as well. So those are the very rudimentary basics of periodic motion, and we'll be using this when we study other types of motion like oscillations or circulatory motion.